Welcome back to The Exchange. Stocks are not the only winners from the economic recovery. High-yield municipal bond funds saw a record $1.3 billion in inflows over the past week. That's thanks in part to optimism around President Biden's $2 trillion infrastructure proposal. Bank of America recently said we could be headed for a, quote, golden decade for muni bonds under President Biden, especially if Congress passes this infrastructure plan. For more now on what infrastructure spending could mean for the muni bond market, let's bring in Nisha Patel, Director of Fixed Income and Portfolio Manager at Parametric. Thank you very much, Nisha, for joining us here. The muni bond market is key for so many of our viewers and listeners out there because they are looking for that tax-free income. Take us through what's driving the muni bond activity today. Is it the infrastructure optimism? It is. And year to date, we've seen tremendous flows into municipal bond funds, into municipal bond products. Uh, muni bonds have outperformed the respectable taxable counterparts pretty considerably, particularly in the high yield space. And I think a lot of this demand, it's driven because of the prospect of higher taxes and certainly the certainty that taxes are not going to be going down from here. Now, if you take a look at the infrastructure bill, you know, one of the key components here is on how it's going to be paid for which, with certainty, corporate tax rates uh, being raised is, is one uh, kind of aspect of that. Now, President Biden has mentioned individual tax rates going up, but it's not directly tied to this infrastructure bill. But even for corporations, which hold about 20 percent of municipal bonds, uh, which is not very well known, you know, if their tax rates do go up considerably, I think you could also see them uh, coming to buy more municipal bonds. Is it strictly because of the, the prospect for higher taxes in this infrastructure plan that's driving the muni flows, or, or, or could it be other factors as well? S say, maybe some of the projects and plans that could go into it. What exactly does that whole trade kind of look like in your mind? Yeah, so if you take a look at the details of the bill, obviously, you know, given that the main proposal or the main bill really is for infrastructure, infrastructure uh, a lot of money in that breakdown is for transportation, is for clean drinking water initiatives, is for affordable housing. Uh, a lot of this overlaps with municipalities and the type of debt that they issue. And so, you know, one of the key components that we're looking out for is how exactly does this affect supply? You know, there's no doubt about it that municipalities will have to play some role in this. However, do they roll out some sort of a program like they that did back in 2010, where there's a subsidy that municipal issuers receive to issue a loan under, under this new program? Uh, or, you know, are they receiving some sort of another incentive? But I think from an investor standpoint, there's going to be, you know, certainly more opportunity, I think, possibly from an issuance perspective. And as a resurgence of ESG investing is coming about in many aspects of the market, we are starting to see that in municipal bonds as well. So that's something that I think investors are looking out for. Uh, more ESG friendly, again, clean drinking water initiatives, affordable housing type of projects that they could take advantage of in the municipal bond market, which, you know, typically hasn't been done before. Nisha, in our last few moments here, is the demand that you're seeing for munis right now coming just from those high tax states like New York or New Jersey, Connecticut, California, those places? Or do you see a broadening out of muni interest across the country? We see a fairly broad interest across the country, but, you know, no doubt that it is coming from high tax states. Now, keep in mind, with the uh, state and local tax deduction, the SALT cap, uh, that's put tremendous pressure and effectively has raised taxes for high income earners in the top tax states. So, you know, we have seen a huge demand uh, come in from California, from New York, from other high tax states since the SALT cap went uh, into effect. Uh, but I would say it's, it's even more broad based. Uh, you know, if you take a look at the taxable equivalent yields of municipal bonds, even today in the A-rated space, and you compare it to the taxable counterparts, there's certainly still value there, right? Sure. So with cash earnings zero, with limited options, um, there's still certainly a lot of opportunity that investors can look to take advantage of. Nisha Patel at Parametric with the breakdown of municipal bonds. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Have a nice weekend. Still ahead on the show, have you ever been the victim of a porch pirate? Well, there are some smart home devices that could ensure the safety of your deliveries. Those details are coming up next. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM insured Muni bonds. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. 
the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable rating. BAM. Build America Mutual.